They said this day would never come. They said our sights were set too high. They said this country was too divided, too disillusioned to ever come together around a common purpose. But on this January night, at this defining moment in history, you have done what the cynics said we couldn't do. You have done what America can do in this new year, 2008. In lines that stretched around schools and churches, in small towns, and in big cities, we came together as Democrats, Republicans, and Independents to stand up and say that we are one nation, we are one people, and our time for change has come. We are choosing hope over fear. message that change is coming to America. They don't own this government, we do, and we are here to take it back. The time has come for a president who will be honest about the choices and the challenges we face, who will listen to you and learn from you even when we disagree. We won't just tell you what you want to hear, but what you need to know. I'll be a president who finally makes health care affordable and available to every single American the same way I expanded health care in Illinois, by bringing Democrats and Republicans together to get the job done. I'll be a president who ends the tax breaks for companies that ship our jobs overseas and put a middle class tax cut into the pockets of working Americans who deserve them. I'll be a president who harnesses the ingenuity of farmers and scientists and entrepreneurs to free this nation from the tyranny of oil once and for all. And I'll be a president who ends this war in Iraq and finally brings our troops home. Who restores our moral standing. Who understands that 9-11 is not a way to scare up folks, but a challenge that should unite America and the world against the common threat of the 21st century. Genocide and disease. Tonight we are one step closer to that vision of America because of what you did here in Iowa. This was the moment when the improbable beat what Washington always said was inevitable. This was the moment when we tore down barriers that have divided us for too long. When we rallied people of all parties and ages to a common cause. When we finally gave Americans who've never participated in politics a reason to stand up and to do so. Years from now, you'll look back and you'll say that this was the moment. This was the place where America remembered what it means to hope. Hope is that thing inside us that exists despite all the evidence to the contrary, that something better awaits us if we have the courage to reach for it, and to work for it, and to fight for it. Hope is what I heard in the voice of a New Hampshire woman who told me that she hasn't been able to breathe since her nephew left for a run. Still goes to bed each night praying for a safe return. Hope is what led a band of colonists to rise up against an empire, what led the greatest of generations 
free a continent and heal a nation what led young women and young men to sit at lunch counters and break fire hoses and march through Selma and Montgomery for freedom for Hope is the bedrock of this nation. The belief that our destiny will not be written for us, but by us, by all those men and women who are not content to settle for the world as it is, who have the courage to remake the world as it should be. That is what we started here in Iowa, and that is the message we can now carry to New Hampshire and beyond. The same message we had when we were up and when we were down, the one that can change this country brick by brick, block by block, callous hand by callous hand, that together, ordinary people can do extraordinary things. Because we are not a collection of red states and blue states. We are the United States of America. And in this moment, in this election, we are ready to believe again. Thank you, Iowa. Senator Barack Obama's uh, victory speech at Iowa tonight after a thunderous and a successful 